Welcome back into Studio 10. It is self-esteem boosting month and what better way to kind of celebrate or get into that kind of self-esteem boost that we all kind of need than being with Ashley here at Bliss. <laughs> now, Ashley, you have so many titles underneath your name. Not only are you a stylist, but you've been coined as the mother mullet in our area. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. I think most people just call me the the mullet lady. The mullet lady. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It's fine. Yes. But you know, we were, we're on this kind of, um, you know, topic of self-esteem. Why do you think hair kind of plays a big role in self-esteem and boosting that? Well, what I hear a lot is that people feel like they don't have the confidence for a mullet, but then at the same, on the same point, they say that the mullet gives them confidence. Mm. So I love that it can go both ways. If you don't have the confidence, you can get a hairstyle that will really help to boost your confidence. And if you have the confidence, you th then you just are attracted to those kind of like out there styles that are going to kind of attract attention. Yeah, yeah, and the mullet. When, how have you seen this popularity rise and kind of, you've kind of been taking it by storm. You're like mm -hmm. not only here in, in mid Michigan, but all around the state, people come to you and get one of those mullets. I attribute a lot of the success of the mullet, uh, the rise of the mullet to quarantine actually. Okay. Because if you have a short hairstyle and then you just don't get it cut for a few months, it just kind of turns into a mullet. Naturally. So I like to say it is nature's, you know, nature's way. God <laughs> intends us all to have mullets and you're all just fighting it. Um, no, but. So quarantine was just like, I was in the right place at the right time because I have had my mullet for about 10 years mm -hmm. and I've been the crazy mullet lady in town for just about that long, trying to get everybody on board. And then when quarantine happened, it was like, it was already kind of starting to rise and then people were naturally growing mullets. Mm -hmm. So they're just kind of like leaning into it. They're just doing Zoom calls. So they're like, oh, you know, it yeah. doesn't matter. No one can see the back of my head right. anyway. So again, I just think I was in the right place at the right time. Yeah. So I just, I'm just rolling with the momentum. Yeah. Strike while the iron's hot kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cause you, um, you know, tell me about the community that you've been able to kind of embrace with the mullets. So the Mid Michigan um, mullet community, is that what it's called? and then the TikTok and all of that stuff, where can people find you? Yeah, so it, this started way back because I did hair starting, I started doing hair out of my home. Mm -hmm. So it started with MySpace, then it grew to Facebook, then it was Instagram and now it's, it's TikTok. Mm -hmm. So again, the TikTok thing grew over quarantine. So people from around the world really are reaching out to me, telling, you know, sending me pictures of the mullet they got that they were inspired by um, from my page and stuff. But the Mid Michigan Mullet Club is something that I started just to, you know, just so that we would have like a community and we get together once a year and just get a photo, you know, do a little photo shoot and see how the, the team has grown, yeah. how the club has grown. So last year it was about 20, this year it was about 40. So Ooh. maybe next year it'll be 60 or 80, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. but I've cut about over 200, maybe close to 300 um, mullets in the past year or two. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. I know whenever I'm here, you always have someone in this chair <laughs> yeah. and you know, you're, you're, you're talking them through it or you're just touching it up. Do you have any advice? I know you mentioned, you know, kind of this is a, a way to get that confidence by having some kind of hairstyle uh, like this. But if, if someone is interested in having a mullet, maybe for the first time, any tips of like how they should maybe grow out their hair a certain length or what's what's the best way to kind of start it? No, we all start somewhere. So okay. a baby mullet is still a mullet. So even if you have a shaved head, like when I shave, I, I shaved my head to grow it into a mullet. Uh huh. And the point that at the point where you decide that you're growing a mullet, it's a mullet. You yeah. know what I mean? In yeah. my eyes, it's yeah. a mullet. It's just a starter mullet. Yeah. It's a baby mullet. So you know, the shorter you go on the sides, the more it's going to emphasize the length in the back. So that's kind of what I do when people come in and they're growing a mullet. Mm -hmm. I just get the sides really short and then it makes the back look a little longer. I love it. Yeah. Business in the front, party, party in, the back. in the back. And we kind of are in the back of the salon too. So yeah. it kind of makes sense. This is your, yeah, your... this is the party section. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I love it. And of course, if people want to find out more information or kind of follow your journey, because it is fun to watch, you know, when someone comes in with not, not a mullet and then you they transform. They get mullitified. Molidified. Oh, I like the that. The molidification, if you will. <laughs> yes. So where can people follow you so they can find the molidification? <laughs> um, TikTok and Instagram, you can find me at Ashley Medina Hair. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you so Yay. much. Keep up the amazing work and maybe, maybe you'll see my mullet on Ooh, Studio 10 no. sometime soon. <laughs>